Hey, we're moving on through our SolidWorks for Maker video series here. And right now we're in the middle of a very common workflow. Jason, you started out your model in X shape, right? And then you added some stuff in SolidWorks, but you needed to make some modifications to that original organic shape. Yeah, Todd, that's right. Uh, I jumped back into X shape and obviously made a lot of changes to the model. And now I just need your help on how to update the SolidWorks file. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. I've opened up your SolidWorks file here. It's got all those cuts and the, and the hinges added to it, right? And it's where we sit right now. And then we're just going to go over to the My Session tab and it shows that link. And right there, that status icon is the key, right? It shows us that there's a more recent version of the X shape file that exists on the platform. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. All you got to do is right click and reload from server and it's going to go and grab the more recent version and update the feature tree. And when this is all complete, all your cool new features are in there and the cuts and the hinges rebuild. Oh my God. It, no way. It cannot be that easy. So you just right click reload from server and it gets my latest surface that I made in X shape. Dude, that's yeah, awesome. Every, everything you did in SOLIDWORKS is on there, um, just like you'd expect SOLIDWORKS to work. Now, sometimes if you're making those changes in X shape right on the spot, um, you may need to do a refresh in my session just to get it to recognize the newer version. But uh, but yeah, man. Wow, this is, this is powerful stuff. So I can go from X shape to SOLIDWORKS, back adjust the X shape file, update it in SOLIDWORKS, back and forth as much as I want. That's going to be a very powerful workflow. Yeah, I think awesome. you're all set here. Yeah, I saved it to the platform for you there. And um, I know you got some more assembly work you're wanting to do on it. Yeah, you know what, Todd? I want to add some treble hooks to it and some final touches. But I think we're almost ready to 3D print this guy. Oh, man, awesome. Keep it going.